Hi, it's Nate at Quicksoft with the CMM Manager Group in Columbus, Ohio. Today we're going to take a look at LeapFrog. It's a function inside of CMM Manager that allows us to move our inspection device or move our workpiece within the inspection volume so that we can facilitate measuring very large parts, parts that are larger than the, the measuring volume of our measuring equipment. So we've got a program that we'll look at today. We've programmed this offline. It's a workpiece that with our portable arm down at, say, this end of the part, we can't access the entire workpiece. So with this arm in this location, if we were to play this program currently, we would get to some point where we would have features at this opposite end of the part that are no longer accessible. So we could do a couple things. Of course, in this case, we could move the arm such that it's centered and we can access the entire thing but for sake of showing a quick tutorial on how this all works uh, we'll add in our program strategically so maybe halfway through this program we'll add a leapfrog command or operation so we'll select this from our program ribbon tab we have a couple options here for what types of features are we wanting to measure this could be tooling balls circles Point features is very typical you know, using conical seats or some sort of nest that might be glued or magnetically held to the workpiece. So we'll select some number of points, a minimum of three, click on measure, and we'll go ahead and start measuring these features, keeping in mind the uh, order that we're measuring. So we'll get a prompt now from the software. Okay, go ahead and move the inspection device or the workpiece. Click OK. We're going to measure those same three nest features in the same order, of course. So after some confirmation here, we should have a workpiece that's now moved to this new location. We can continue measuring or teaching our program at this point. So let's go ahead and just run the program all the way through and we'll see the result of this leapfrog command in our program. Clicking the play button, starting my inspection device here at the original starting location. Just following the prompts here for measurements. So there's a complete alignment. At this point, we'll zoom in a bit here, see what's going on in the graphics. So now measuring a round slot. A couple circles. After the second circle, we should see our leapfrog command in action. So similar prompts to what we saw when we taught the program. Something to keep in mind here, uh, there is some flexibility. Uh, these nested seats don't need to be in the same location from one program run to the next. Uh, so of course, if you're doing serial inspection of several parts, uh, and these things are just arbitrarily glued on or attached magnetically, it could very well be that the locations of these are unique from one part to the next. So now after a quick confirmation, we jump right back into our program. More. So 
So there we go. We've got, at least within the accuracy of the device that we're working with today, the entire inspection routine where we could have some reporting outputs that are all correlated to that original reference frame. You know, again, using these leapfrog points as an intermediate alignment that's you know, translating the entire program from one location to the next. So thanks for joining us today. You know, follow us on YouTube, follow us on our support channel, and keep an eye out for additional tutorial content in the future. Thank you.